hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see how actually we can do a setup of sql database in azure space this is a very much important because in a real time also you will see a multiple scenario where you will be having data is available in a sql database and that data you have to move into the blob storage or some other location or you have a data that is available in a blob storage as a csv or json file that data you have to move into the sql database so this kind of the scenario generally you will see in a real time so that's why in this particular video we will see how actually we can create a sql database in azure space and in upcoming lecture we will use to create a multiple data pipeline we will try to see multiple pipeline scenario where we will be having data available in a multiple space and that data we have to move into the sql database or from sql database if we have to move data into the blob storage how actually we can do everything we will see but in this video let's see how actually we can do a setup of the sql database so i have logged in into the portal.azure.com once you are logging into the portal.azure.com you will see this particular screen what we are going to do we are going to create a sql database so i will search for the azure sql database you can see sql database click on this now first time when you will set up you will see this particular screen click on the create sql database or you can click here create now after that what we have to do first thing you have to select the subscription second we have to create a resource group so i have already created a resource group so that's why i am selecting but if you haven't created a resource group you can click on the create new and you can give any name and you can create a resource group under this subscription and we will be having a resource group and that resource group we are going to create a sql database so that's how actually we have to read first thing we should have a subscription under this subscription we will create a resource group under this resource group we are going to create a sql database so that's how we have to read now after that we have to give a database name so i will give a database name as a poc database something you can give and you make sure it should be unique so i will give poc database test after that we have to click on the server we have to create a server so that so that we can logging into the sql database and we can write a query so first thing create a server so click on the create new give the server name i'll give server name as a poc server 7 to 8 after that we have to give a location after that authentication method this is important because once you will log in it will ask for the login name and the password so i selected the use sql authentication i'll try to set up my admin username and the password and this thing we have to remember because with this only you will be able to log in after that click on the ok so set up your admin password and this you have to remember because with this only you will be able to log in click on the ok after that want to use equal elastic pool no workload environment we will select a development because we are doing a testing after that compute and storage here we have to select you can see general purpose so most of the things are there for the processing we will go with the basic one because in basic you will get the 2 gb maximum and the cost also will be the 4.90 as we are using a free so that is fine but we will use a basic one only click on the apply click on the next after that we will select the public endpoint click on the yes client ip address yes after that click on the next security click on the start free trial here click on the next use existing data so if you will select the sample so you will get few database already and few table already so i will select the sample click on the next click on the next review create click on the create once you will click on the create it will be initializing and once it will complete we will try to see how actually we can log in so you can see initializing the de deployment so first the deployment will be submitted and once the deployment is submitted after that it will be completed then only we will be able to log in so let's wait for that you can see deployment is complete so click on the go to resource now you can see this is the particular database we have created 
now if you want to log in how actually you can log in let's see that so if you can see query editor we have click on this query editor now we have given our login and the password so that password we have to pass here click on the ok now you can see the query editor open now left side you can see multiple tables already available because while setting up we have selected the sample tables right so if we want to write any query so let me write sales lt dot address and if we'll run you can see this all the data we already have means this all the table already available and uh, this all the things we can use it for our data pipeline creation and all so that actually we'll see in the next now once you will open suppose you are in a azure now you want to go into the sql database so now just you have to go into the sql database and this is the what you we already created now go to the query editor and here you can log in and you can see your data so that's how actually we have to do so we'll meet in our next video and we'll see a practical